man accused of shooting officers in an hours long standoff in August was back in court today. He is accused of multiple counts of attempted murder after six Philadelphia police officers were shot. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is outside the Criminal Justice Center with today's developments. Matt? Well, on top of those six attempted murder charges, Maurice Hill is also being held today on gun and drug charges. Today, here at the Criminal Justice Center, authorities revealed five weapons were recovered from that crime scene, including an AR-15. This is a case that speaks for itself. Prosecutor Anthony Voci, speaking outside the Criminal Justice Center today, said there's no doubt Maurice Hill tried to kill as many Philadelphia police officers as he could during a shootout and standoff with officers back in August. That's when officers say they were trying to serve a search warrant here in the city's nice town Tioga section when Hill started firing a huge cache of rounds at police for nearly seven hours, striking six men in uniform. You fire that many guns and you hit as many officers that he hit with no regard for the value of human life. You, you don't have to be able to argue that case whatsoever. It, it, just, it literally speaks for itself. During the preliminary hearing today at the Criminal Justice Center, we also heard from the first officer officer to get into Hill's home, Sean Parker. He testified about the moment he walked into Hill's kitchen and a bullet suddenly grazed the left side of his head. Quote, I immediately saw a flash and I knew I was shot. I took cover, began firing into the kitchen. I was trying to figure out how I was going to get out of the house. It was constant gunfire from the kitchen. Officer Parker later made a harrowing escape by smashing a window with his gun and climbing out of it before running to a patrol car. I think the bravery of the Philadelphia Police Department was on full display. And again, Maurice Hill faces six attempted murder charges, but today the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office announced that it is filing an additional 60 plus attempted murder charges. Here, why they're filing those now four months since that shootout, coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. Reporting live in Center City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Matt. See you then.